when you pop over the back fly, you one, two, stag, right? Yep. Get your feet right in position. They can't be off at all. They'll be right here. So when you, when you catch them, as you catch them, you do that little absorb. So instead of doing absorb and they coming back up and then the back down pop, it's absorbing and then swinging right away. Mm -hmm. So it's, there's a lot of timing and a lot of uh, exact feet placement, right? Mm -hmm. So get your pops really clean, catch, and then one, two, we swing, right? Okay. One, two, swing, boom. And the same thing here. Once you catch there, you're absorbing and you're popping right again. So it's quick, mm -hmm. right? So when you first do it, don't, you know, you don't need to do it quick right away. Catch and just say, I like how you guys count. It's not one, two, it's just right, right? It's just down, pop. So you can catch and just receive the weight there and say down, turn, right? Down, turn. <clears throat> so feet placement are really clean. When I catch over here, my feet are, hit you in the head there, okay. sorry. My feet are right on the hip bones there, ready to pop. Yep. And she's already stagged, she's, she's getting ready to swing. Okay, one, two, swing. Nice, I like how she pushed off the arms, helped me really, she really popped up there, right? So it gives you more of air time. That's something you can do as a fly to really help you base, is push through the arms. And then right, for me personally, popping off of my toes is a lot easier, because like when I jump, I jump off of my toes. Look at that pro. <laughs> adjusting her <laughs> pants. So instead of being, instead of my toes being like way here, yep, I I, I've got to catch around the tip of my toes because I feel I can spring off this and have more control. Mm -hmm. So I try to catch right with the toes and then down, turn, right? Mm -hmm. so catch on the toes, down, turn. Mm -hmm. So legs for me a little wider helps out. And I think it creates more interesting lines when you come down, just nice wide legs. Okay. It's like a little So I think of it as one, two, stag, swing, turn. Okay. And at first I start slow. I stag, down, swing, down, turn. So I'll say one down first. One, two, stag, down, swing, down, turn. Nice. So she's really clear about her positioning, like where she needs to go to, yep. and that makes my job a lot easier. Yeah. The most dangerous part of, I think, this, these pops is that second part, mm -hmm. going from a, a plank to an inversion. So get that, you guys have that really clean. So now I would say you focus on that last bit yep. and being really clear about turning and then flattening out to bird. Mm -hmm. So you get into that nice plank and keep the legs wide. Not only it makes it easier for your base to catch the hips, but it creates a more interesting line. It's nice and big. Yeah. You do like a little roundhouse effect. Uh -huh.